So guys, I'm doing these voiceovers because I don't want to wake anyone. And you can tell right here, I'm struggling with the bowls. I made a sound and I'm hoping nobody heard me. So guys, we're going to be making Easter baskets and we're going to be using four of these bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree, very cheap for each basket. And we're making six baskets. And I'm showing you guys really quick how it's going to look. Four pieces of bowls. They're very cute and very efficient. This is what we're making. I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys, but whatever it was, it was funny to me. I am cracking myself up, okay? Go, girl. Okay, guys, now these are my glue sticks. You know, you use the glue sticks in the, in the glue gun. My kids, one of them, stole my glue stick. That's what I'm explaining to you guys there. One of them stole my glue stick, and they're nowhere to be found, and now I got to use this tube of glue and hope it works. Yes, girl, roll your eyes at them. Because how dare they? Now, this little tube of glue was really killing your girl's thumbs. My thumb was killing me. My finger was killing me. So, you guys saw me apply the glue to the bottom bowl, which is the larger bowl. And then I attempted to stick the top bowl, which is the smaller bowl, on top. Uh, I shouldn't have did it that way. I made it work. But... You're going to notice that in the next few steps, I do it in the reverse. I will do glue on the smaller bowl and then attach it to the larger bowl because the rims did not sit on top of each other properly. So that's how I went ahead and, and done it. Now, this basket idea has been trending on social media. Yes, I said it. It's been trending on social media. I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it on Instagram and I've seen it on YouTube. And I was like, Psh, if they can do it, I can do it. I'm very crafty. Um, Yeah, so I am very crafty. But halfway through, I get tired and I'll be like, why did I choose to do this? Why do I do this to myself over and over and over again, guys? Why? Why am I like that? So, anywho, I'm continuing to put the glue and applying a little pressure, making sure they stick together. I got three down. One, two, three. Count it down. And I got three more to go. Yeah, because it's six kids. Yes, that's right. Six kids. So, this is a bit of a, you know, tiresome project. Okay? Especially when you're just waking up early in the morning and you're trying to do it quietly. And this is me fighting and struggling to keep my robe closed, keep all the goodies secured, <laughs> and I'm continuing to fight with the tube of glue. I'm getting a few of my baskets done. I got one, two, three, four, five done so far. So we're we're, yep, we're missing one more celebration dance, girl. Get it, a, hey, get it, a, hey, get it, a, hey, get it. One more. I was so happy. I couldn't wait to the, to get to the final bowl and when you think that that's it that's just the beginning of the tumbling of getting these things done whatever i'm stumbling over my words but y'all know what i mean that's just the beginning of my troubles but guys look at me struggle with this little tube of glue and i'm praying that i have enough glue in this tube to complete the project i am struggling my fingers are trembling and hurting mind you i work with my hands so of course this is very tiresome then i finally get a light bulb go off in my head like duh you got a other hand you can use your other hand girl so i'm done and now i got my little bunny ears and of course i bought six bunny ears because one 
each basket is going to require a bunny ear on top of it. That's right. So you're going to remove your tags and labels. I'm just throwing it every which way because I got kids. Of course, they're going to clean up when I'm done. <laughs> I'm a mom. Of course, my kids are going to clean up once I'm done making a mess. Why not? So over here, guys, I'm applying a glue to my, my, um, I was about to say elephant ears. Yeah, I really need some sleep so to my rabbit ears, bunny ears. Dear God, what's wrong with my mouth? I'm adding some glue and then I'm going to show you guys what happened with my glue. It did not. I tried to allow it some time to set and to really take and hold a snug on to the bowl. But unfortunately, as I was getting ready, boop, it fell. So I went ahead and got some tape. Thank goodness I always keep me a roll of tape. I seriously always keep a roll of tape, guys, like in my purse for real. Everywhere I go. I really do. I really feel that tape can fix everything. Literally. So I, I went ahead and continued on with the tape for the rest of this project to tape on my bunny ears to my basket. The top portion of my basket. That's right. Handy dandy tape. Handy dandy tape. And it's working out just fine for me. You know, I don't have to squeeze that tube of glue anymore. We're done. It's a divorce. And there it goes. Sprinkle of goodness. I got six bunny ears, six baskets. You're going to see my eyes roll a couple times because I'm just happy. So I'm going ahead and filling up my bottom portion of the bowl with the treats and gifts that I got. Now, guys, I have two older teenage kids. You know, so I found some items that I felt that they would like, things that they can use, like hygienic um, um, pieces. I got some things for hobby purposes, what they like to do, like Trey Nell making his basket now. He loves to go fishing. So I got him, um, I don't know what it's called, dear God, but it's a yellow little thingamajig, that right there. And you hook it to the fishing pole and it's supposed to attract the other fishes. Go figure. I have no idea what it's called. Oh, maybe it's a bait. <laughs> so these are miniature deodorants. Like small little items. I thought they were cute. Um, everyone has a regular size everything at home. So I just figured it would be a little fun to get them some um, tiny little, you know, miniature size, travel size, um, hygienic items. There you have it. Found the words. And in Trey Sean's basket, right next to Trey Nell's basket, I got him an electric shaving um, trimmer. Yeah, my son is growing a beard. That's right. <gasps> and yep, it, it wouldn't be me if I didn't knock something over. So I knocked over one of my bunny ears, of course. And I got the little fake grass thing. Now, these things are so cute. But they're such a pain. Like, they, they have a mind of their own. I kept trying to fix it into the bowl. So, just be diligent and take your time. It's going to get you upset. But try not to get frustrated like I did. But um, I made sure to fix it into the bowl. Because that top portion is where I'm going to put my goodies, my treats, my candies and stuff. I was worried um, that the bowl, the bottom portion, was not large enough to contain everything that I wanted to get for the kids. Um, I underestimated that bowl. It held well and it had a lot of space. I could have I could have stuffed it. And right here we got a little car egg, a basketball egg, and what is that? A football egg. There we have it. Now guys, you're gonna see me close the top off with some tape. Hold it together. I'm gonna go back later because I forgot to add the treats. Like, yeah, there's treats inside of the eggs but i wanted to add more treats you know what's easter without more chocolate is there ever enough chocolate no so here i am making more of a mess my kids are gonna wake up and clean it up they love me i hope <laughs> so here i go i'm adding more of this little grassy thing and i'm struggling of course and they're just so cute they're just so pretty and shiny and glittery but messy and non-cooperative that's what they are so here i go fixing it up 
and then I'm going to also fill this one up with some of my treats you know I'm reaching for some eggs let's see which ones I pull out here it looks like I got a baseball egg a basketball egg a baseball egg and uh, another baseball egg okay so that's Treshawn's basket and then his little miniature deodorant miniature deodorant spray you know he's older but everyone can participate in Easter yeah your girl got overheated this robe was just doing the most and then I got on the fleece long pants yes ma'am air out air out air out I was hot you know I turned the AC down because it was kind of loud hey and guys just for the sake of me not running out of that little grassy thing that I've been using I used some wrapping paper and then I, I stuffed it at the bottom and then I applied the grass so that's a good technique too or you could just do the wrapping paper the wrapping tissue paper the gift tissue paper without the grassy thing I would actually next time just use the the tissue paper the gift tissue paper I won't be using these little grassy things um, so so annoying and here we're doing mm -hmm. Naya or rather I think Asha basket and Hannah's basket and I got some play-doh It's very cute the little play-dohs and I got the my little pony and then I got the tattoo stamps you know the girl's gonna go crazy cute little shades everything at the Dollar Tree well the Dollar Tree by me they be having everything I'm talking about stuffed animals everything and this was so cute it's a little watermelon drink thing it's a travel cup and this cute little giraffe I'm gonna stuff it in a bowl at this point I'm not even sure if it could fit but I'm gonna make it work because we love giraffes giraffes my favorite animal my kids know that and look it's in a fetus position look at it so cute all right let's move along so we got the other little pony that's for Hannah and then I got the chocolate bunny guys check out the golden chocolate bunnies in the front aren't they so cute and they have the cute little bow around their neck the red bow and that's Hannah's shades because baby who could see her nobody y'all is not messing with Hannah and then she also got her cute little pouch. Her, her travel on pouch. It is too cute. It just makes you want to be a kid all over again. So moving along, we're going to go ahead and top these off and tape them up. See, Hannah's basket was the most full. And that's because I decided to add the stuffed animal into it. Now here I go fighting again with these little grassy stringy things. As cute as they are, they are so not worth the trouble. In the cleaning up, I still have some more somewhere dangling around. Now I, I'm putting my eggs into both. I'm trying to do two at a time, guys. Okay. It gets tiresome when you're doing so many. And this is me being upset with myself and getting frustrated at the fact that I forgot to add candy to the inside. So I have a fistful of candy and I'm going to open her mouth and stuff her. There we go. That'll do it. And so, because I didn't tape Asha's on down, I can go ahead and put hers. And it's so cute. Just delish. Yep, I'm giving myself a treat. This is what it looked like from the top view, guys. Very cute. Very beautiful. Very creative, too. And here I go. I'm giving the little ladies their cute little neckties. Very cute little floral decor. Let's get it, honey super cute and here I go I'm about to measure out to give my guys a bow tie a male bow tie so Mr. Rabbit could match Mrs. Rabbit's fly yeah cause they gotta be fly you gotta be fly out here you got to be fly out here okay now guys for the sake of the camera I did not want to turn Mr. Rabbit around to do his bow tie so I'm trying to do it without my eyes. I am not able to see what I'm doing. I'm just hoping I'm tying it perfectly. And it did turn out just fine. I did a great job. I really did. Sometimes you gotta brag. I, I earned the right brag. 
Is that okay? Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there go Mr. Rabbit's bow tie. And I'm checking with O saying, hey, is it okay? Excuse me, ma'am. These are for sale? No. These are from my kids. All right, guys, enough of me messing around. I need to give Mr. and Mrs. Rabbits their eyeballs. So here we go. And then, not to mention, I went ahead and put some lashes on my girlies. They are cute. They are fierce. They are ready. They're ready to be outside. <laughs> and guys, I did not forget to add the details of the footprint. Now, listen, I told y'all I got tired halfway through this project, okay? So the footprints may not match each other, but they got feet. They could walk. Some are missing a toe. Boom. But she could walk. She all right. They going to do just fine. And I went ahead and added the stuffed animals that's going to go along with the baskets that I'm going to give each child. And look at the french fry. Hey, McDonald's or whoever you're from. I got the flamingo in the back. I got the frog in the back. And what else? I think I saw a lion up there. Yes. Just cute. And an elephant. And here go the girlies and my sons. Everybody loved their baskets. I definitely would recommend doing this. And guys, do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Why? Because I deserve it. Okay? After staying up all morning and getting this done. And this is Hannah. Isn't she just so cute? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment. Love ya.